to 12 Days of Christmas. Today is day eight and we're making these giant ornament pillows. These are stunning. I love them. I cannot wait to make more of them. It doesn't take a lot of fabric to make them. The pattern is completely free. I will leave it down in the description box for you. This is a really great way to decorate your house and make a big statement in terms of decoration. If you wanna see how to make these giant ornament pillows, keep watching. I'm making giant stuffed ornaments. I'm really excited to have these on my couch. I'm gonna use some fabric that I've had in my stash for a really long time. I actually got both of these fabrics for free off of Facebook Marketplace, so please check your local Facebook Marketplace buy, sell, trade area. They always are getting rid of fabric. For this project, you're going to need your pattern. This is a free printable pattern, and I put the big one together like the instructions said but you can totally not do this. So the pattern says you have to cut out two of the paper and tape the short ends together to form the full template. So that's what I did here, but then I was thinking that you really don't need to do that. You can take the half, put it on the fold and cut it out and you would get the correct template. Same with this one. You would just place it on the fold here and then cut it out and you would get the correct piece for the pattern. So I'm going to be making a large and a small size. For the top of the ornament, I picked up this remnant from Joann's. It was $10 a yard. Their remnants are 50% off and sometimes they're even 75% off. So I got this for $5. It's a full yard. You don't need this much. You need about a quarter of a yard for the top part of this project. I have this blue shiny fabric and I think this is the one I'm going to make out of the small ornament. And then I also have this red crushed velvet that I think will be really great for the large ornament. I'm so excited to make these. I'm gonna go cut my pattern out and I will be back when that is complete. Here are our pattern pieces cut out. Decided to make two big ones. So we have the red velvet, we have the toppers, and then we have the sparkly fuzzy blue fabric. So what we're gonna do, this is what one of the cutouts look like. I'm going to sew them right sides together. Sometimes velvet is tricky. We're gonna sew them right sides together along this seam, and then we're going to open it up and place another piece and sew along here, open that up, sew along here, open that up, so on and so forth. So we're gonna do that to both and then I will be back. my top sewn and both of my ornaments sewn. I decided to do both of them large ornaments. So I've already turned this one right side out. So I'm gonna turn this one right side out with you. Just through that hole that you have to leave. Make sure that the center is good. This one is definitely a lot better than the red one because I kind of figured it out as I was, you know, going. And then I have a giant bag of Pahali fill that originally was going to be for a mannequin that I'm making, but I could always buy more Pahali fill. So this is my giant thing of Pahali fill that I'm going to put right next to me so that we can stuff these. Okay, so I'm gonna start stuffing these, finding the hole, here we go. And you can stuff them for however dense you want them to be so they can be like you know, like when you go to Build-A-Bear, they like have you hug it and see how dense you like it. Basically what we're gonna do, just stuff it until you like it.
56,000 to hold our rickrack on. I just placed a dollop on the end and I'm just holding it in place until it is dry a little bit so that it doesn't move around. And where the rickrack was folded is where I'm going to put another dollop so that that lays flat. And I'm going to attach this all the way around the seam of the top of the ornament. I'm gonna take a little bit of rickrack. I'm gonna bend it backwards where it was folded just to kind of unfold it. I'm going to place a dollop on one end and place it right up against the seam. And I'm gonna let that dry before I do the other side. how good these came out they're so cute i love them so much and i need i need more of them you know i need to cover my whole entire couch with them and i think that's going to be like the perfect statement we don't ever host but like you guys see my house so i think that i need more of them the options are endless for these I love the way they came out. They were easy to put together. This one came out better than this one. Uh, this was my first one. So the second one all, always comes out better, you know? <laughs> Especially because I had never made these before. This is definitely my favorite project that we've done. I will be making more and maybe even in some more fun colors. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video with a friend, and I will see you in day nine of 12 Days of Christmas. <music>